DAP integrates with several powerful email marketing platforms like Aweber, ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, Infusionsoft, Entreport, and GetResponse. Now we have added a rapidly growing platform, ConvertKit, to that list. ConvertKit is a powerful email service provider that comes with simple, easy to design templates and some great automation capabilities. Hi, my name is Veena Prashant. I am the co founder and co developer of DigitalAccessPass.com. And today, I'm very happy to announce a brand new DAP integration with ConvertKit. ConvertKit follows a different model than other email marketing platforms. Now, most email marketing platforms are list centric, where if the same person is on three different lists, they are counted as three different people. ConvertKit is not list centric, it's subscriber centric. Each subscriber counts as one subscriber, but with different tags. Now, as far as the integration with DAP is concerned, the integration between DAP and ConvertKit is two-way. DAP to ConvertKit and ConvertKit to DAP. Let's first take a quick look at DAP to ConvertKit integration. Say that you have a free or a paid product in DAP, and when users sign up to the free product or purchase your paid product, you want them to be added to your ConvertKit form with the right tags. The integration from DAP to ConvertKit is really easy. Let me quickly show you how to set this up. So DAP is going to need your ConvertKit form ID to be able to add subscribers of a specific product to that form in ConvertKit. So step one is to create your ConvertKit form. Now, if you have already created the form in your ConvertKit account, that's fine. When you click on it, you will notice that the form ID is going to show up in the URL. So just make a note of the ID number because you're going to need to enter this in your DAP product configuration. If you just want to add the subscribers of a specific DAP product to a specific form in ConvertKit, then that's easy. You just have to specify the form ID number in DAP product configuration. Now, if you also want the subscribers to be tagged, then you need to specify the tag number. So when you create your tags and you click on it, you will find the tag ID number in the URL. So make a note of that. You can add multiple tags. It does not have to be just one tag. You can add a pipe separated list of tag ID numbers in DAP configuration, and I'll show you how to do that. But the main thing is to make a note of the tag ID because you will need to enter that in DAP configuration if you want the subscribers to be tagged by DAP. To integrate your DAP product with your ConvertKit form, visit the DAP products page, notifications tab, select your product, and then in the plugin notification section, enter a string in this format. When a user is added to a product in DAP, whether it's a paid product or a free product does not matter. When a user is added to a product, plugin notification upon user add is triggered. And then DAP is going to call the platform that you configure here. So in this case, it's ConvertKit. It's delimited by a colon. And the format is ConvertKit first, followed by the delimiter, and then API key, which you can get from your ConvertKit account. Form ID is the form ID of the ConvertKit form that you want to integrate with DAP. Sequence ID, it's up to you. If you want to specify one, you can enter it here or you can leave it empty. If you specify one, then when the subscriber is added to the ConvertKit form, they are also going to be added to this sequence automatically. Tag IDs, if you want DAP to tag the subscriber, then you can enter a pipe delimited list of tags. If it's just one, just enter the tag number there. So for example, if it's just number 11, then you specify that there. If you have multiple tags and you want to add the subscriber to these tags, then just separate them using a pipe character and that's it. So this is a format for a user add. Now, if you want to remove a certain tag or tags from the subscriber, if they lose access to a product in DAP, then the format is convert kit followed by a colon which is a delimiter api key actually in this case it's api secret it's not the key but it's the secret but you can get that from your convert kit account so both api key and secret you can get that from your convert kit account for user add you need the api key for user remove which is just a unsubscribe or removal of the tags from your convert kit form you need to enter the api secret so get that from your ConvertKit account, followed by a colon and then the tag IDs. So for example, if you want your subscriber to be removed from these tags, then just specify that here and use pipe as the delimiter. 
Now, if you don't want to specify a sequence ID, then just leave that empty. It's optional. So still, you need to have the delimiter. So it would be form ID followed by the delimiter and the sequence ID, you can just leave it empty like this. Then the delimiter again, and then the tag IDs. Now, if you want to remove tags when a subscriber loses access to a certain product in DAP, then there are two things you need to do. One, you need to enter a string in this format in the plugin notification upon user remove field. Now, this is something we discussed before, but there is another thing you need to do, which is you need to create a custom field. Now, click on members custom fields and create a custom field called subscriber underscore ID. Use this exact same name for the database field name. And the label can be anything you want. The description can be anything you want. Set show field only to admin to yes and save it. So after you create this custom field, then what will happen is when a subscriber is added to ConvertKit by DAP, ConvertKit is going to give back a subscriber ID for that subscriber. DAP is going to store it for that subscriber in that custom field, subscriber underscore ID. Now, when a user loses access to a product in DAP, then ConvertKit requires DAP to send the subscriber ID number of that subscriber. So for the remove to work, the subscriber ID should be there, which is why it's important that you create a custom field called subscriber underscore ID if you want to remove certain tags when a user loses access to a product in DAP. Now let's talk about ConvertKit to DAP integration. Now that integration is a little bit tricky because currently ConvertKit has a few limitations when it comes to third party notification. Now, for example, if a subscriber is first added to ConvertKit using the ConvertKit form, then there is no way for ConvertKit currently to notify third party systems like DAP directly. So there is no direct communication ability that ConvertKit has with third party systems like DAP. So the only way to get ConvertKit to talk to DAP and send all the subscriber information is by making use of Zapier. Now there is a Zap that ConvertKit has and we can leverage that to notify DAP of a new subscriber ad. But the problem with that is that ConvertKit does not send product information to that Zap. So ConvertKit will convey basic subscriber information, but there is no way to get ConvertKit to send additional data so we can add the subscriber based on the tag or based on the form ID or product ID. So we can add that subscriber to the right product in DAP. Now, because the product name or the product ID does not come in in that trigger to Zapier, so the only way to add that subscriber to DAP is by hard coding a product ID in your Zapier uh, trigger. I'm going to show you how to do that, but it means that you can only integrate your ConvertKit form to just one product in DAP. So if you just have one free product, then that's fine. You can just set up your Zapier account to just notify that specific product when a subscriber is added. But if you want to be able to add based on tags, if you want to be able to add them to different products in DAP, there's no way to do that currently. And I'm told that ConvertKit is working or going to work in future to remove this limitation, but I don't know that when that's going to happen. But whenever that happens, we will be sure to update the integration so that you won't need a Zapier account to, con to connect your ConvertKit account to DAP. Now let me show you how you can leverage Zapier to connect your ConvertKit account to DAP. So log into Zapier, click on make a Zap, and when you do that, it's going to bring up a page like this. So here, select ConvertKit. And once you search for it, select that, so the one that we are interested in is new subscriber add trigger. So select that and save. Now give this zap a name. Let's say we call it dap convert kit zap and connect your convert kit account to your Zapier account. So you can click on this to complete the connection. I have already done that. You have to basically enter your convert kit API key and secret to make the connection. Now, once you have done that, click on test to make sure everything is working okay, and then save. And it says, make sure to test. So just say 
fetch and continue complete that and done so the next step is to set up an action so this is where you connect this app to that so click on that and say choose app here instead of selecting an existing app just look for webhook so select webhooks and say post save and continue and where it says url now here's where you need to enter this url so whatever is name of your site enter that here and then just follow the same format slash dap slash sign up submit dot php question mark product id equals the dap product id so if you want to integrate it with product id 3 just enter that so like i said before you cannot integrate different products with different convert kit forms so all the convert kit forms are going to end up getting added doesn't matter which form your subscribers subscribe to in convert kit they will all be added to the same product in dap that's again because of the convert kit limitation that they have currently so until that's resolved you can only add your convert kit subscribers to this specific product in dap now you can always use DAP to convert kit integration. If your users are being added to the DAP uh, product first using a DAP sign up form, then you can add them to convert kit and that's fine. This limitation is only when you are trying to add your subscribers to DAP when they are added to convert kit first. So enter this URL again, replace your site.com with the name of your site slash DAP slash sign up underscore submit dot PHP question mark product uppercase i product id equals the product id of your dap product that you want to integrate with convert kit you can get your dap product id from dap products page this is your dap product id number so just enter that there and that's it and just say continue and then you can test it make sure the connection is working now here i have just said your site so the connection won't work but if it's an actual website where you have dap then the connection should go through fine and then you will be set so when your subscribers get added to convertkit when they subscribe to a convertkit form they will be added to dap automatically to the specified product that's it i have covered both convertkit to dap and dap to convertkit integration as well as the limitations please let us know if you have any questions my name is veena prashant thanks for watching